All right, Pointy Nation, the time for a glue off is upon us. A couple years ago when I started acrylic paint pouring, I actually did some tests like this with some different glues that I had at home and decided glue all worked the best. However, that was before my YouTube channel, so I wanna show you guys how I got to that conclusion and there's some new glues on the market. These glues from uh, CraftSmart that Michael sells are actually cheaper. They're only 10 bucks a gallon instead of 15 bucks a gallon for the glue all that I normally buy. And I wanna see if these are an alternative that we can use to make a more cost-effective way to continue our pouring obsession. Well, at least it's a pouring obsession for me. So we're going to go through all of these glues. I'm gonna take them through the same paces that I did for the other pouring mediums, which I will link in the description above where I tested 11 different pouring mediums, including Elmer's Glue All. And then I'm gonna put them through two more tests. One, I love doing cells with Glue All. So I'm going to put a little bit of silicone in each one and see how that works. Second, I think Glue All can work really well with swipes. So I'm gonna try a swipe with each one of these and see how well that works. So that means we're gonna test the cost, the color, how well it dries, and how well it mixes along with a pour with silicone and cells and a swipe and that's going to determine which of these is the winner of the glue off. All right, so my contestants here, Craft Smart Clear Glue, Craft Smart White Glue, Elmer's Washable School Glue, Elmer's Washable Clear Glue, and Elmer's Glue All. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix three colors. Master's Touch Persian red or pink, uh, Blick th Thalo blue, and Blick titanium white. Then I'm gonna do a flip cup with silicone, see how that looks, and then on part of it, I'm going to put some more white and do a swipe with the white. For each of these colors, I'm going to mix half of a ounce or about 15 grams of paint, and then and then an ounce of glue, which is about 30 grams. And I'll mix that up good. So I'm doing it this way so I can use the uh, glue raw. Normally I have a 70% glue, 30% water mixture. In this case, I'm gonna kind of make that up as I go. It's gonna be more like, um, 66% to 33% or two thirds to one third. But I'm gonna mix that up. And then I'm gonna do water to consistency. And the consistency that I want to get is a slight mound and then disappears. And I want that consistency because cells with silicone work much better if the paint is a little bit thicker. Otherwise the cells just go all over the place and you don't really get to keep the cell structure. So when you wanna make cells, you want your paint to be a little bit thicker so that the cells can form and keep their, their shape. So ultimately I added about 15 grams of water also. So that is two thirds glue, one third water for the quote unquote pouring medium. So first we're gonna look at the Elmer's clear glue and this is washable. So this actually mixed quite well. I didn't have really any problems with it. Um, ultimately, I had to put about 10 grams of water um, to get the right consistency, and the consistency that I, I have here is that's a slight mound upon a mound, or that when I do this, it disappears in um, a second or two. Now, one odd thing is this, when mixed, this method where you move it around, it doesn't stay on top at all. It immediately um, integrates. So that checking the consistency of that method is gonna be hard, but it does leave a mound upon a mound and kind of go away. Um, this also got more bubbles than some of the other ones. So if you don't like those little teeny tiny cells, you either have to leave it overnight or that's really the only way you can get rid of these bubbles. Honestly, you can you can try and torch a lot, but I don't think that really helps because they'll just keep coming as it dries. So overall for mixing, it was just fine. None of the glues had any problem mixing. 
So next we're going to do our flip cup. And before we do that, we're going to do just one. Um, this is about two ounces of paint. So I'm going to do one drop of, um, well, I'm going to do two because these are tiny drops. Two tiny drops of, two tiny drops of uh, pouring oil or one of the regular drops. If I had the regular dropper instead of the needle point dropper, it's a little bit bigger. So one of the big drops or two of the little drops per color. And I'm not gonna having any in the white and I'm gonna keep half the white back to do a swipe with. So we're gonna go half of the blue And a little bit of white. You can tell the white is heavier because look how far quickly it falls. And then half of the pink. Again, a little bit of white. And the rest of the blue. I'm going to try and do the same thing for each. Again, this is the Elmer's clear glue. And a flip cup. Just give it one second to travel. And then we're going to mix, or we're going to tilt half of this before we torch. And already those cells have formed and already those cells have, the cells have uh, misshapen which in my opinion is not a good thing for a pouring medium. So none of my original cells are really there and none of the ones after I torched are there. Now with all of these, what we're gonna do is take the rest of the white, add a slight bit more water, just to make it slightly thinner than, so now it, it makes a tiny mound and goes away. No mound upon a mound. And we're gonna get my little piece of plastic here. Can I see that there? And I'm just gonna put the paint on it. Let it run back and forth a little bit. And then we're gonna let that dry and see how it looks in a few minutes. So next we're looking at the Elmer's school glue. Now, I wanna show you one thing about the Elmer's school glue that I really didn't like. The consistency of this is actually very slimy. It's not consistent the whole time. So when you mix it up and you run it off the stick, it gathers together, flows off, then it stops and it flows off and it stops. And it's a really, horrible consistency, honestly. That alone would make this not worth pouring with this medium for me. So uh, I'm still gonna do it, we're still gonna test it out, but that's like a super bad hit in my, in my book. So we're gonna do this exactly like we did before. I gotta admit, I was not expecting anything good from this, just based on the consistency, but wow, look at that. And that's why we test.
So, color me impressed. And you know what I just realized? I don't think I put any silicone in that. And still got this amazing setup. That's something to think about. So now, just like before, can mix in a little water. I really want to see how this dries with what I got here. Next we have the Craftsmart white glue. Mixed up really well. I didn't have any problems. It's very similar to the glue all. So we're just going to get into the, I already put um, silicone in all the rest of the colors so I don't mess that up again. And this one just feels thicker, even though the consistency was, like I said, this one just feels thicker. You can probably see how much thicker it looks also. That just, I mean, to me, that means that this glue is a better quality glue. It has better quality stickiness which makes it look the same when it's all together, but when it thins out, it's a whole lot thicker. And I missed the edge here, so I'm just gonna... You know what, I'm not going to. This is a test. Okay, so... Wow again, the Craftsmart white glue does a pretty good job. I got some nice cells, nice multicolor cells. I mean, I got a ton of cells. It didn't do nearly as well on the swipe. Well, let's let that dry and on to the next. And next we have the Craftsmart Clear Glue. So the clear glue actually was really fun to mix. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed mixing the clear glue and the paint and just how it looked while I was mixing. You don't really get to see that with other pouring mediums. One thing I did not like about it, millions and millions of bubbles. Now this has been sitting for probably 20 minutes and I still got tons of bubbles in there. So it froths quite a bit. And I'm not sure how well that's gonna do unless you like all the little mini cells, maybe with a galaxy pour or something where those could be little stars or something, it would look better. But I did not like that about this um, mixture with that, with the glue all. So, same thing, half of this, a little bit of white, the white sunk really quickly there, you can see it moving, look how quickly the white is sinking there. I don't know if it's just the consistency that happened with the clear Yeah, same thing, it's just dropping right through this paint. So I don't know if you noticed, 
in all of these, it's the kind of the edges of the paint and the last little bit of paint that has more silicone. That happens pretty much every time. The first thing that's out there doesn't have a lot. This has a lot, but this has a bunch underneath. So it just depends on how you want to get it. And I got a ton of cells up front again, and they're just gonna misshape as I do this. Swipe looks good. But again, that's just, it's just disappearing. All right, on to the next. All right, last but not least is our Elmer's glue wall. Same thing, we already have Silicone in these, I'm just gonna stir them up a tiny bit before I go. I do have a couple videos on Elmer's Glue All that I will link up top and in the description below in case you wanna get some more information on that. So again, this is not sinking like it does in the clear paints. One thing I do about like about Elmer's glue wall is it keeps that silicone in longer than other paints. See, so you're not even seeing it until I've thinned out that section of paint from tilting. Even though most of that is air bubbles, you can see that the, the um, silicone is still in that area that I mentioned before that happens. But before I tilt that off, look how cool. Just seeing where this was, I was trying to get, see if there was some extra silicone under there to pop up. All right, let me come back with them dry. All right, so here we are with the dried results. We have the Craft Smart White Glue, the Elmer's School Glue, the Elmer's Clear Glue, the Craft Smart Clear Glue, and Glue All. So if you recall at the beginning, I forgot to put silicone into the Elmer's school glue and boy am I glad I did. I would have never gotten this, all that beautiful lacing, beautiful cells, if I would have put silicone and ruined this. Now it was a pain in the butt to mix. I dropped the score on this one for mixing because it really was a pain and it had an odd consistency. But if I can get those results with a little extra mixing, I'll do that every time. Now I can't give it a score for uh, silicone, but I can definitely give it a score for swipe. Five out of five. Excellent. I'm definitely going to do some additional testing with Elmer's School Glue going forward. 
Next was the Elmer's transparent glue. It was a mess. It was just, the, the consistency was the exact same as the other ones, but for some reason the makeup of clear glue just makes the cells not work. I might try this without any silicone because the silicone popped up and then it immediately mangled itself. They were bad. And you can see the swipe was here, but it's nowhere to be seen now. So with silicone, the clear transparent glue, two out of five, and the swipe, one out of five, because it disappeared. Next is the clear glue from Craftsmart. Same thing. It just went all wiggly and gone. I don't see anything there. And one bad part about this is I actually got crazy and cracking. So that one, or the Craftsmart clear glue, uh, because of the cracking, I would drop its score for dry to a two where the Elmer's glue all in my pouring medium roundup got a three. And also same thing, two for the silicone and one for the swipe. Another very awesome outcome was the Craft Smart White Glue. I got great cells. I got some great lacing. Uh, the swipe was nice. It wasn't quite as good as the Elmer School Glue. Obviously that other one was without silicone, but it was nice. Bunch of nice form cells. This one is excellent. I would absolutely recommend using the White Glue and it is 50% cheaper than the Elmer's Glue All. It's $9.99 at Michael's right now per gallon instead of $15.99 or $14.99 that Elmer's glue is at Lowe's or Home Depot. So the Craft Smart White Glue gets a 5 out of 5 for the silicone and a 4 out of 5 for the swipe. Last but not least, the glue all. Just to remind you, with the pouring medium roundup where I pitted 10 or 11 pouring mediums head to head, the glue all got a four for mix, five for dry, sorry, three for dry, three for color, five for cost, and these are all out of five, five being the best, one being the worst. And for this experiment, you can see we got some nice cells, we got some nice lacing. The swipe was okay, it wasn't the greatest, but it was okay. But again, this is what I love about glue with silicone. So in that regard, the glue all got a five out of five for the silicone and a three out of five for the swipe. So overall, I learned a couple of things. One, the clear glue does not like silicone. I need to do some more testing without silicone. The school glue is, can be amazing without any silicone. So I need to do some more testing with those three, but with silicone, I probably would not recommend any of them. With silicone, Craftsmart glue, absolutely a hot buy. And the Workhorse Elmer's Glue All, definitely a hot buy. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, please like the video and let me know if you have experience with other glues down in the comments below and what other types of tests you'd like to see with my next glue experiment. Otherwise, we will see you next week.